So hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer with uh, PrevMed, Prevention of um, Heart Attack, Stroke, and Disability. In fact, why don't you prevent all those diseases and have a long, healthy life? <clears throat> That's exactly what we're talking about tonight. The science of anti-aging. And it has something to do with resveratrol. You remember people talking about that chemical in the skin of red grapes? And if you're going to drink wine... You should drink red, red wine because it has resveratrol. Well, here's the fellow that discovered that. His name is David Sinclair. He's tenured faculty at Harvard, uh, born in, uh, in Australia, educated at University of New South Wales, came to uh, the U.S. to get further uh, a Ph.D. at Harvard and then do some postdoc work in aging of yeast. Now, why aging of yeast? We'll talk about that in just a minute. <clears throat> this, is, this is to help set us up for that discussion. Now, if you look at all of the chronic diseases, the, the, the killer diseases of mankind, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, chronic lung disease, all these diseases actually don't start, in, they start increasing dramatically in, at middle age. The anti-aging researchers have, have noticed this. The folks that, with the TAME study, the uh, uh, gerontologists of the world, all notice the same thing. It's not any one disease that's killing us. It's all of them. There's something going on that's common to all of our cells. So this is happening at a cellular level. We're getting some breakdown. So again, uh, back to Dr. St. Clair. He's, uh, again, working on metabolism of the cells in, in relation to aging. As I said, he trained at, at uh, Harvard, did some post-grad uh, uh, at MIT, looking at yeast aging. He discovered a thing called um, sirtuins. We'll talk about those in a, in, in a minute. Uh, he also discovered that NADH, nicotinamide, and we'll remember where that is in just a minute, too. These things are very important in terms of aging. The sirtuins have to do with uh, enzymes that cut off. Um, they control the expression of other enzymes, which have to do with, guess what, metabolism. <clears throat> in March of this year, uh, Dr. Sinclair and his team discovered NMN, it's related to resveratrol. In fact, it's supposed to be a much better form of resveratrol. It's an NADH precursor and uh, booster. They'll take it to clinical trials within six months. So <clears throat> we'll be doing a trial on another anti-aging drug. Remember the last one we talked about was old-fashioned metformin. Now let's go back to resveratrol. What does it do? It's the stuff in the, in the red skin of the grapes. When it goes through the cell membrane, it impacts SIRT1, one of the seven sirtuins. We'll talk about those in a minute. And that, in, a, in turn, boosts the mitochondria. These are the, um, remember, the powerhouse of the cell. Well, let's go back and ask, ask a quick question. Why didn't resveratrol work? Or did it, why are we not hearing about resveratrol that much anymore? It's, well, here's why. In order to get enough uh, impact from resveratrol through red wine, you'd have to drink 100 cups a day. I'm sure that uh, that's a great setup for a joke. I'm sure a lot of people would, would want to volunteer, but again, totally impractical. So uh, let's go, let's move ahead. What are sirtuins? That their certs, uh, they have one through seven. The yeast uh, cert that Dr. Uh, Sinclair discovered in his postdoc work in, at MIT was cert one. Uh, cert two is the analog for the humans have. It's the same thing, but it's slightly different. It stimulates autophagy. Well, let's, it stands for silent information regulation. That doesn't tell us a whole lot, but again, what it does, 
you don't really see the the uh, enzyme itself so much as it repressing or stimulating other enzymes being transcribed and developed genetically. It stimulates autophagy. You know, think fasting. When we fast, we get an in, uh, increase of the certs. Um, and autophagy, you might remember, probably don't, but you might remember, it, that's where the cell starts um, taking up uh, trash, old used up proteins that aren't... Um, that aren't, aren't being used anymore and burning it for energy. So it burns old parts, worn out parts of the cell for energy. It inhibits inflammation. And I won't go through how it does that, but again, in, inflammation is being found to be one of the key components of aging, along with our metabolic, our cell respiration, how, we get in, how our cells get energy. This is an epigenetic process. It doesn't change the genes themselves, but it changes the spools that the genes are wound up on and results in downregulation of some of the inflammatory processes. Resveratrol, by the way, activates CERT1, but again, as we mentioned, you just can't get enough of it for it to be very helpful. Quick spoiler warning. Uh, just a, maybe 30 seconds for the biochemical uh, nerds in the group. You remember the, this is a, the mitochondria. You remember it's the powerhouse of the cell. And you remember there are three major components of our metabolic process. The first component, glycolysis, is used by yeast and cancer cells. That's why they do a low glycemic or low, uh, low carb diet for cancer, for a lot of cancer patients. It only gets two, the equivalent of what we call 2 ATP out of, out of a glucose molecule. Then we have the TCA cycle or, tre or Krebs cycle, again another two. It's the electron transport, which requires oxygen. That's why we need oxygen to breathe. It gets 34 out of the bunch. Now why did I go through all that? Because of NAD, uh, nicotinamide, dehydrogenase. That's that's the chemical that we're talking about that we're boosting with uh, NMN. This is another view of that. And thank you for your patience if you were bored with the uh, biochemistry part. Let's go back now and just see if we can connect a few dots. If you, as you see from this headline, High glucose, and this is a very academic article that I found while I was doing some research on this. The title is interesting to read when you start uh, looking at, at this and some of the other videos that we've done recently. High glucose induced alteration of certs in endothelial cells causes rapid aging in uh, B3 and FOXO regulated pathway. So, high glucose. Remember, we're, we're also looking at glucose in a couple of other places, like Walter Longo's search where he's looking to decrease uh, diabetes through uh, intermittent fasting. And, of course, Dr. Nir Barzilai's research where he's using metformin. Um, <clears throat> endothelial inflammation. So obviously endothelial inflammation is a big deal for us just on a working basis right here in our clinic where we're decreasing heart attack and stroke risk. And just a reminder on these two, I've got another um, video where I talk about Walter Longo and intermittent fasting, the product that, that's called um, Prolon. One of the major impacts is to increase that uh, FOXO pathway. So again, you're starting to see we're connecting a lot of dots in terms of research and anti-aging in, uh, in the past few years. And they tend to focus on the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, cell respiration or uh, the, the way the cell gets energy uh, for the body. Thank you.